In today's digital first world, data is the new gold, and protecting it is not just a choice but a responsibility. Every organization today relies on technology, whether it's banking systems, ERP platforms, or customer databases. And with every line of code or new connection comes a potential vulnerability. That's where cybersecurity audits play a crucial role. They serve as the organization's defense mechanism, ensuring that information systems are protected, compliant, and resilient against evolving cyber threats. So in this video, let's decode in detail. What exactly is a cybersecurity audit? How to perform one step by step? And why it's one of the most important pillars of modern risk management? Part 1. What is a cybersecurity audit? A cybersecurity audit is a systematic, independent review of an organization's IT environment designed to evaluate how well security policies, controls, and procedures are protecting its assets. Think of it as a health check for your security posture. It identifies weaknesses, assesses risk exposure, and helps the organization strengthen its defense strategy. Unlike a basic vulnerability scan, a cybersecurity audit takes a holistic view. It looks at people, processes, and technology. It ensures that controls are not only implemented, but also effective and aligned with standards such as ISO 27001, NIST, CIS controls, COBIT, or SOC2. Part 2. Why Cybersecurity Audits Are Important Before we get into the how, let's understand why cybersecurity audits are vital. Protection of Critical Assets Organizations hold sensitive data, customer details, financial information, intellectual property. A cybersecurity audit ensures these assets are properly secured and monitored against breaches. Compliance with regulations frameworks like GDPR, HIPAA, PCI DSS, and SOEX require companies to demonstrate effective security controls. Audits ensure that your organization not only complies but is ready to prove it to regulators and stakeholders. Risk identification and management cyber threats evolve daily. A cybersecurity audit uncovers hidden vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, weak access rights, or outdated patches before attackers do. Business continuity and resilience. An effective audit ensures that incident response, backup, and disaster recovery mechanisms are in place, minimizing downtime during security incidents. Stakeholder trust and reputation. Regular cybersecurity audits signal accountability and transparency. They boost customer confidence, investor trust, and overall brand reputation. Strategic decision-making audit findings help leadership make informed, risk-based decisions on where to invest in security technologies, training, and improvements. In short, cybersecurity audits are the backbone of proactive defense. They ensure organizations stay secure, compliant, and future-ready. Part 3. How to perform a cybersecurity audit step-by-step. -step. Now, let's break down the full audit process in detail. Whether you're an auditor, consultant, or IT risk professional, these steps form the foundation of every cybersecurity audit engagement. Step 1. Define the audit scope and objectives. Start by clearly defining what systems and applications will be covered, what regulations or standards apply, like ISO 27001 or NIST 800-53, and what are the audit's objectives, for instance, data protection, incident response readiness, or access control evaluation. This scoping ensures your audit stays focused, efficient, and relevant to business goals. Remember, scope creep is a common risk in cybersecurity audits. Clarity up front prevents confusion later. Step 2. Gather background information. Understand the organization's environment, its business processes, IT infrastructure, and data flow. Review key documentation such as information security policies, network architecture diagrams, system inventories, access control matrices, risk assessment reports. This helps you map out where critical assets are stored, how data moves, and where potential threats might arise. Step 3. Review security policies and governance. Next, evaluate the security governance framework. Check whether the organization has an information security policy approved by management, defined roles and responsibilities, regular awareness training programs, a security committee or governance board, 
A strong governance framework ensures that security is not just a technical function, but a business priority. Step 4. Assess technical controls. This is the core of the audit. Here, auditors examine technical safeguards across key areas, like access controls. Are user privileges based on least privilege? Are accounts promptly removed upon employee exit? Network security. Are firewalls, IDS, IPS, and segmentation controls properly configured and monitored? Endpoint protection. Are antivirus, EDR, and patch management processes effective? Encryption. Are data at rest and in-transit encryption standards applied properly? Logging and monitoring. Are logs centralized, retained, and reviewed? Cloud security. Are configurations in AWS, Azure, or GCP compliant with CIS benchmarks? Each control should be tested for design effectiveness and operating effectiveness. Step 5. Evaluate physical and environmental security. Cybersecurity is not only digital, auditors must also ensure physical security safeguards are in place, such as restricted access to data centers, CCTV monitoring environmental controls, temperature, humidity, fire protection, visitor logs, and asset management. Physical breaches can often compromise even the most advanced cyber defenses. Step 6. Review incident response and business continuity. Assess how the organization prepares for and reacts to cyber incidents. Review incident response plans, DR and BCP documentation, backup and restoration procedures, communication protocols during incidents. The goal is to confirm that the organization can recover from cyber attacks swiftly and effectively. Step 7. Test compliance and control effectiveness. Use testing techniques like walkthroughs to understand the process flow. Interviews with IT and business users. Sampling for access logs, change tickets, etc. Technical testing like vulnerability scanning, penetration testing, or configuration reviews. The auditor validates if controls are working as intended and aligned with applicable regulations. Step 8. Identify gaps and evaluate risks. All findings should be categorized by severity, high, medium, or low, and mapped to business impact. For example, outdated firewall firmware, high risk missing password policy enforcement, medium risk, lack of periodic training, low risk. This prioritization helps management focus on what matters most. Step 9. Prepare the audit report. A well-structured audit report should include executive summary, overview of findings and recommendations, detailed observations, each issue with impact, root cause, and control weakness, risk rating and remediation plan. Conclusion, overall security posture and compliance status. Visual aids like risk heat maps or dashboards make reports more understandable to non-technical stakeholders. Step 10, conduct the follow-up review. A cybersecurity audit doesn't end with reporting. Follow-up is essential to ensure corrective actions are implemented effectively and on time. Auditors should verify that remediation is complete and sustainable, ensuring continuous improvement. Part 4. Best Practices for Effective Cybersecurity Audits Stay aligned with recognized frameworks like NIST, ISO 27001, or COBIT. Maintain independence and objectivity throughout the engagement. Keep audit evidence well documented and traceable. Incorporate data analytics and automation tools for efficiency. Engage with IT, business and compliance teams collaboratively. Focus not only on compliance, but on risk reduction and resilience. Conclusion. To summarize, a cybersecurity audit is not just a checklist exercise. It's a strategic evaluation that helps organizations stay secure, compliant, and trustworthy in a digital landscape filled with evolving threats. Performing a cybersecurity audit systematically, from scoping to reporting, ensures you don't just identify risks, but actively mitigate them. Because at the end of the day, cybersecurity is not about eliminating risk, it's about managing it intelligently. And that's exactly what a well-performed cybersecurity audit empowers an organization to do. If you found this explanation insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Audit Decoded by Mayuri, where we decode complex audit and cybersecurity concepts into simple, practical insights for professionals like you.